In game theory, guess two-thirds of the average is a game where several people guess what two-thirds of the average of their guesses will be, and where the numbers are restricted to the real numbers between 0 and 100, inclusive. The winner is the one closest to the two-thirds average. Equilibrium analysis. In this game there is no strictly dominant strategy. However, there is a unique pure strategy Nash equilibrium. This equilibrium can be found by iterated elimination of weakly dominated strategies. Guessing any number that lies above 66.67 is weakly dominated for every player since it cannot possibly be two-thirds of the average of any guess. These can be eliminated. Once these strategies are eliminated for every player, any guess above 44.44 is weakly dominated for every player since no player will guess above 66.67 and two-thirds of 66.67 is approximately 44.44. This process will continue until all numbers above zero have been eliminated. This degeneration does not occur in quite the same way if choices are restricted to, for example, the integers between 0 and 100. In this case, all integers except 0 and 1 vanish. It becomes advantageous to select 0 if one expects that at least one quarter of all players will do so, and 1 if otherwise. Experimental results this game is a common demonstration in game theory classes, where even economics graduate students fail to guess zero. When performed among ordinary people it is usually found that the winner guesses much higher than zero, e.g., 21.6 was the winning value in a large internet-based competition organized by the Danish newspaper Politikon. This included 19,196 people, and with a prize of 5,000 Danish kroner. Creativity Games has an online version of the game where you play against the last 100 visitors. The Museum of Money has an interactive flash applet of the game, where each given answer will be used to calculate the current outcome. Guess 110% of the average has a variation of the game where users submit bitcoins and try to guess 110% of the average. Rationality versus Common Knowledge of Rationality this game illustrates the difference between perfect rationality of an actor and the common knowledge of rationality of all players. Even perfectly rational players playing in such a game should not guess zero unless they know that the other players are rational as well and that all players' rationality is common knowledge. If a rational player reasonably believes that other players will not follow the chain of elimination described above, it would be rational for him, her to guess a number above zero. Interestingly, we can suppose that all the players are rational, but they do not have common knowledge of each other's rationality. Even in this case, it is not required that every player guess zero, since they may expect each other to behave irrationally. History Alan Ledu is the founding father of the guess two-thirds of the average game. In 1981, Ledu used this game as a tiebreaker in his French magazine Jouet Stratégie. He asked about 4,000 readers, who reached the same amount of points in previous puzzles, to state an integer between 1 and 1 billion. The winner was the one who guessed closest to two-thirds of the average guess. Rosemary Nigel revealed the potential of guessing games of that kind. They are able to disclose participants' depth of reasoning, due to the analogy to Keynes's comparison of newspaper beauty contests and stock market investments. The guessing game is also known as the Keynesian beauty contest. Rosemary Nigel's experimental beauty contest became a famous game in experimental economics. The forgotten inventor of this game was unearthed in 2009 during an online beauty contest experiment with chess players provided by the University of Castle. Alan Ledu, together with over 6,000 other chess players, participated in that experiment which looked familiar to him.